Okay. Happy Wednesday morning. Thank you for joining me today. So just as a reminder, there is no class. Uh, there's no live Zoom class on Friday or next Monday. So this coming Friday or next Monday, which is August the 3rd. Um, but you can go to the YouTube link that I have provided for you guys in the email and you can pick from like 35, I think there's 36 classes now. So the later ones are better than the earlier ones because of all the problems with um, audio and visual stuff but um, in the beginning, but certainly feel free to take a class that way. So um, with that, we'll go ahead and start. So you can lie on your back or you can stay seated. We're talking this week about remembering, remembering what God has done for us. And certainly Psalm 77 is just a wonderful Psalm that helps us to remember the things, the miracles, the amazing things God's done in our lives and how he will continue to cover us. So uh, reading again from Psalm 77, I'm starting in the, the middle here. It says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. So again, that's from Psalm 77. We're focusing this week on remembering the things God has done for us. So go ahead and lie on your back if you haven't already. And... Just start with your breaths, some nice deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, or we talked last week about the conqueror breath, in and out through your nose with your lips gently closed. Maybe you want to breathe that Yahweh breath here. It's a great breath of praise. And as you do that, just remembering things he has done for you ways that he's brought you through the storm. So let's do that right now on our backs. And let's take Three or four more breaths here as we remember. All right, really nice, everybody. Let's take those arms overhead and we'll start to stretch. Reaching back, really long. Pointing your toes, stretch out your spine, and on the exhale, we'll bring that right knee in. Hands to your lower leg, squeeze the right knee in tightly to your body. With your inhale, bring your right leg high, interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Flex your right foot, draw it in. We're gonna stay here and breathe as you lengthen out the back of that right leg, and then we're gonna circle that right foot. Spreading out your toes, working into your ankle. Let's gently reverse, nice and slow. You guys are doing great. Bring it back into center. Bring that knee back into your chest, squeeze it in with your exhale. And with your inhale, take those arms overhead again, stretch it back, point your toes. Lengthen your body, lengthen your spine. We'll exhale and do the left side. Bring that left leg in. Draw that left knee into the body. Fingers interlaced at your lower leg. Really press it in strong. With your inhale, take your leg high. Interlace your fingers 
behind your left leg, flex your left foot. Draw that left leg in as you breathe. And then we'll circle that left foot. Again, stretch the toes, spread them out, just slowly moving. Stretching out the ankle, let's gently reverse. Great job, you guys. Just slowly, let's do one more. Bring it back into center and drop that knee back into your chest. Squeeze it in with your exhale. And with your inhale, we'll go all the way back again. Nice big stretch. Lengthen your body, point your toes. Exhale, both knees come in this time. Bring both legs high with your inhale. Hands at the backs of the legs. So just separate your feet and we'll circle both feet. And I'm probably going in opposite directions. That's fine, however you want to do it. And then we'll go the other way. Nice and easy. Let's take one more. Great job, everybody. Bring it back into center. Drop your knees into your chest with your exhale. Nice job. Gently rock to the left, rock to the right. Roll out your lower back. Just breathe through and then we'll bring it into center. Soles of the feet together, knees wide for butterfly legs. Take your hands to your feet, draw the feet into your body. You can bring your head up here if you would like. Rounding the back. Or you can leave the head down. You can also rock this out if you want to. Really find what feels best for you here. Wherever you're at, we'll take a couple more breaths. And we'll bring it all back into center, release. Bring your feet to your mat, knees bent. Take your arms out to the sides. We're gonna take the right foot or ankle to your left thigh. Take your right hand and gently press your right leg away. Just opening up that right side. And then interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Draw that left leg in. Get that nice stretch into the right side. Take a couple of breaths here. You can use your right elbow to send the right leg away. And we'll release, bring it back into center. Take your left foot to the mat. So with your right hand on your right knee, we're gonna circle that right knee around. So go as far as big as you want here. Just working into your right hip. And we're gonna take one more and then we'll reverse. Again, just working into the right hip joint with your circles here. Take your time as you move and as you breathe. Let's take one more. And then we'll bring it back into center. Drop your foot to the mat. We'll do the other side. Left foot or ankle to your right leg. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Oops, let's go ahead and press that left leg away, sorry. So take your left hand gently, press that left leg away. Just take a breath here. And then interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Draw that right leg in. Keep both your feet flexed. You can use your left elbow to send your left leg away here. So finding that best stretch for you, we'll take a breath or two here. Gently release that right foot back to the mat. Left hand with your left knee on it. We're gonna take those circles into that left side. So again, try to make them as big as you can, but do what works for you. And we'll take one more and we'll gently reverse. 
Just working into this left hip joint here, using your breath. See what you feel. Feel what you feel in that left hip joint. Let's take one more. Bring it back into center, foot to the mat. Nice job, everybody. Knees into the chest. And we'll start with some little rolls forward and back, rolling out your spine. Hands behind your knees. Make your rolls bigger and bigger until you're all the way up, sitting nice and tall. All right, let's take those legs wide, feet flexed. Make sure you're on your sitting bones. Okay, you want to be really grounded there. Let's take a big breath up. Inhale, stretch that spine all the way up. Beautiful job. Exhale, take it down. Slide it out. If you're looking down. Get your best stretch here. Let's take three deep breaths. Really keep those feet flexed. Wonderful job. Walk it back up. Take your legs into a diamond shape. So soles of the feet together, palms facing down. Slide those palms forward on the ground. Rounding your back, looking down. Let's take three deep breaths here. Really breathing into the back. Super nice job. Release, come on up. We'll go into our seated tree. So take one leg in, opposite leg is out. Again, you're rooted down into those sit bones. Your foot on your extended leg is flexed. Let's take a big breath up. Inhale, lengthen that spine up. Exhale, fold. Draw that belly in, bring the body down. Just do what you can do here. Okay, this doesn't have to look like anything specific. Just get your body into a position that works for you and get that nice stretch into that extended leg. Take three more breaths here. Wonderful job. Come on up, everyone. Switch legs. Again, just get into that seated position with your sit bones rooted down. Foot on the extended leg flexed. Big breath up. Inhale. Draw it all the way up. Lengthen the spine up. Fold over with your exhale. Draw the belly in. Looking down. Pulling those toes back on that extended leg. Let's take three deep breaths. All right, lovely job. Bring it back up. Take the soles of your feet together. Sit nice and tall. So now coming into more of a butterfly pose, rounding the back, dropping the chin, look down. Draw the navel in. You can come forward here if you want to. We'll take three breaths here. Beautiful job, friends. Stay with that breath. Waking up to a new sunrise. All right, super nice. Come on up. Cross those legs. Sit nice and tall. Draw the breath up as those arms come high. Hands together in prayer. Drop it down with your exhale. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, stretch that spine all the way up. Hands together in prayer. Bring it down to your heart center with your exhale. Nice job. So we're going to take those arms overhead again. Cross at the wrist. Palms together. 
Okay, we're gonna work into our shoulders. All right, so palms are together. We're gonna lengthen up with our inhale and then exhale and just relax those shoulders. We'll do it two more times. Lengthen up, inhale. Exhale, relax those shoulders. One more time, inhale, take it up. Exhale, relax those shoulders. We're gonna do it again, this time after we lengthen up. So lengthen up here, we're gonna exhale and twist. And just look over to one side as you relax the shoulders. And then we'll bring it back into the center, lengthen up, and we'll release. All right, so float it down, we'll just shake that out. Wow, my shoulders are super tight today. I don't know about you guys. Okay, so let's do that again, but we're gonna cross the opposite way. So the hands together the opposite way. We're gonna lengthen up, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. So one more time here with the twist. Take it up and then exhale, bring it down, look over the shoulder. Whichever movement works for you here, just twisting, letting the shoulders relax. And then we'll bring it back into center with an inhale. Exhale, float it down. And just shake your hands and your arms out. Nice job, friends. All right. Bring those hands up. And we're going to press those hands out really strong. Bring them back in. So press out really strong. And when you bring them in, squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Press them out. Bring them back in. Squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. We'll do it one more time. Press it out. Bring it back in. And now we're going to press out to the sides. Really strong. Press it out. Keep those hands flexed. Bring it back in. Press it out. Like you're pushing the walls away from you. Bring it back in. Press it out strong. Bring it in. And one more time. Really strong. Press it out. And bring it back in. Now take your hands back to the front. We're gonna drop one down, keep one up, and then we'll switch and switch and switch. Just working into your wrists. Keep those fingers spread. A nice little stretch into your hands. Great job. Bring it back into center. Make two fists. And roll out those twists. And go the opposite way. All right. Super nice, you guys. Okay, find your way into your tabletop. So come onto those knees. And let's just work into our neck here. We'll take some nice big yeses with our head. Up and down, drawing the head up, and then taking the chin to the chest. Move slowly. Use your breath. Take one more, and then we'll go side to side. Like you're saying no, side to side. Just looking each way. And we'll bring it back into center, and we'll do a couple more yeses. Just being very intentional here. Let's take one more. And bring it back into center. All right, so on our tabletop, turn your fingers back. And I know this doesn't work exactly for everybody. If you want to turn your fingers to the side or whatever works. I'm doing a lot of good wrist work today. So fingers are pointed back. We're going to go into our cat. So exhale here and round your back. Get that nice stretch down the, the side of the arms where the front side of the wrist is. So really round. And then we're going to come into our cow. Turn your fingers back forward for cow. Inhale. So let's do that again. So round your back. Turn your fingers back or to the side, whatever works. Just get a different stretch into your hands than you normally would in your cow. And then come into your cow. Go ahead and flip the hands around. Head up to let your pelvis out. 
So one more time. Come into your cat. Change the positioning of your hands. Round your back. And then come into your cow. Bring those fingers back forward. All right, so come into your tabletop, right foot back, tuck your right toes, go for your calf muscle stretch. Nice job, everybody. Really press that right heel back, engage the muscles in your right leg. And then we'll take that right foot and slide it past the left foot. Let it go as far as you can, and then look over your left shoulder for your left foot. The top of the foot on the ground at this point. Really squeeze those oblique muscles on your left side. Slide it back to your calf muscle stretch. Bring it back into your tabletop. We'll do the other side. Nice job, everyone. Press it back. That lovely stretch. Really press in. All right, let's release that and slide that foot past your right foot. So top of the foot on the ground at this point. Look over your right shoulder for your left foot. Really focus on those oblique muscles on the side of the body. Squeeze, give them a nice squeeze there. Great job, you guys. Let's go ahead and slide it back to your calf muscle stretch. Press in. Take a breath. Bring it back into your tabletop. So we're going to go into our hunting dog. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders. Okay, that's going to help you balance. This is a balancing pose. Right leg comes out. We'll start with those toes pointed down. Left arm comes out. Nice, strong core. You're looking at your mat. So we're going to point the right toes. We're going to take knee to elbow, crunch it in. Take it back out, flex the foot, and then point the toes, crunch it in. Take it back out, flex the foot. Knee to nose, sorry, knee to elbow. Cross it, take it back out. And we'll do one more, knee to elbow. Crunch it in and out. All right, come back into your tabletop and we'll do the other side. Left leg out, toes pointed down, nice and strong. When you're ready, right arm comes out, thumb up. You're looking at your mat, strong core. Point those left toes, knee to elbow. Take it out, flex the foot. Knee to elbow, take it out. Let's do two more, nice and strong. Cross it over, crunch it in. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, take it out. Come back to your tabletop. All right, press those hips out. Nice job, you guys. Good core work. Just let those hips sway to the side. Let your head hang. Find your breath. Let's take a few more. Keep that belly drawn up. Really press those hips out. All right. So come back into center, take your right hand and just slide the heel of your right hand out as far forward as you can. We're gonna work just on the right side here. Really stretch it out. So pull the right fingers back. You should get a nice long stretch all the way down the right side, all the way down your lats, all the way down the right side of that body. Let's take three breaths here. Try to let your head rest on the mat. All right, bring it in. Let's do that other side. So press the left hand, the heel of that left hand all the way out. Stretch it out. Bring that head down. Really pull the left fingers back. Focus on stretching out the left side of the body. You might feel it into that shoulder. Let's take a few breaths here. All right, very nice. Bring it 
back into your tabletop. Great job, you guys. Okay, let's go into, um, let's bring our body up over our knees here. And we'll just take a big breath up here. And exhale down. Just let that go. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more big breath up. And then we'll exhale back to tabletop. And then we'll go into our downward facing dog. So lifting your hips high. Okay, coming in for that nice big upside down V. Hands at least as wide as your shoulders, feet at least as wide as your hips, toes pointing forward. Step it out when you're ready. Try to keep your ears by your upper arms. Press the hands into the mat. All right, let's push it to the left foot. Take your right leg high. Just get that nice stretch there as you lift that right heel. Toes pointed down on that right foot. Three-legged dog. Go ahead and drop it down. Now take the top of your foot to the ground. Okay, so stretching out the top of the foot. And you can even work into circles here or anything that feels good into that right foot. And then we'll bring it back to center. We'll take that left leg high. So three-legged dog. Left toes pointed down. Really lift that left heel. Drop it down. Top of your left foot on the mat. So stay there or maybe you just make some circles. Kind of working into the foot here. Lots of nice foot and hip stretches today. Sorry, I meant to say wrist stretching. All right, bring it back into center. Take your feet nice and wide. Take your heels high, stretch them out. Take the heels down, push it back, exhale. Inhale, take it high. Body shifts forward, stretch out those wonderful feet. Exhale, take it down, push it back. Walk your hands to your feet. Turn your toes out, heels in. So we're gonna come into a nice little yogi squat here. You can work your feet in, however you need to do it, bring your hands to prayer. This is a really great hip opener. And I know it doesn't work for everybody. It's an anatomical thing. You can always stay up here. Okay, that's totally fine too. You want your knees pointed out. Okay. You can get your hands in prayer. So we're gonna Bring the spine up, keep breathing. Okay, two more breaths here. If you're in this position with your elbows by your legs, press in to those legs, okay? Getting more of a hip opener. One more breath. And then we'll bring the hands to the mat. Lengthen up. Walk it forward, bring your feet back in for your downward facing dog. Pedal it out, step it out. So we're gonna come down into a dolphin. Drop your forearms, hips are high. Okay, walk your feet back a little until you're in your forearm plank. So plank with your forearms down. And then just shift with your hips high and then back to your forearm plank. Hips high, forearm plank. We'll just do two more. Hips high, forearm plank, and one more. Hips high, and forearm plank. So drop your knees, find your tabletop, and then come back into your downward facing dog. So lifting up again. Great job, you guys. So let's push into your left foot, take your right leg high. Right foot to your right hand, runner's lunge. Move forward and back, just warming up hips some more. And then coming back into center, drop your left knee down. Take it up for your crescent pose, big breath up, inhale. Take it all the way back, hands together in prayer. And then open up the arms to cactus. Really opening up that chest. Let those arms fall all the way back and sweep them all the way around. Take it all the way up and let's do that again. Come to cactus arms. Back bend here. 
Drop those arms down, sweep them all the way down and up. Cactus arms, open up that chest. Let those arms fall back. Sweep all the way down and up. Stay here in cactus. And we'll bring the hands to the mat. Tuck your left toes, bring your right leg back. Downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Three-legged dog. Left foot forward, brothers lunge. Move forward and back. Four minutes. Wonderful job, everyone. Stay with your breath. Bring it back in the center. Drop your right knee. Take it up for crescent. Bring those hands to prayer. Beautiful back bend here. Lifting the heart space. And then we'll go to those cactus arms. Just let them fall back and take the arms down. Sweep them all the way up. Back to cactus arms. Let the arms come down. Sweep them down and up. Cactus arms. One more time. You're all the way up. And then we'll stay in those cactus arms. Lifting that heart space. Breathing. Come back in the center, take it high, take it to the mat, tuck your right toes, left leg back for your downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk it out. Push into your left foot, right leg comes high. Now drop your right toes to the back of your right heel, right at the back of your foot. Okay. Really press in here, push your hips back. Take that right leg high and bring it to your right foot. Warrior one. Rise up strong. Here we go. Now come on up. Check out that front knee. Don't let it cave in. Make sure it's pointed out towards that pinky toe or out towards the edge of your mat. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. Your shoulders are squared forward. Okay, you're looking forward. Take a breath here and sink into your pose. Drop the arms behind you, interlace your fingers, pull your shoulders down. Take a lovely back bend here, lift the gaze. Keep breathing. Oh my God. Bring it back into center, arms high, hands to the mat. Right leg back, downward facing dog. Left leg high. Stretch it up, lift that heel, drop your left toes to your right heel, and that right foot, push your hips back. Take that left leg high, left foot to your left hand, flip out your back foot, rise up for warrior one. Sink down in again, check your shoulders, they're squared forward, shoulders are soft, don't crown the shoulders up. And just let the shoulders be soft. Drop the arms, interlace your fingers, take your back bend. Lift your heart space, press into the outer edge of your back foot. Keep breathing. Release. Back to warrior one, hands to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Let's take our flow here, find your plank. Lower down, bottom of a push up. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's go ahead and take a child's pose here. And just rest, grab a sip of water if you need some water. Make sure your head is on your mat. Allow the head and the neck to relax. Nice deep breaths. Hmm, remembering, remembering. We often get so caught up in the day that we forget to remember what God's done in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Reading from our Start With Praise book, it says, when you're in distress and when life feels like it's crumbling around you, when the ache from your heart keeps your mind awake at night and 
knots up your stomach. Spend time remembering what God has done for you. What are some specific blessings that you can thank him for? And the point of this is to remind ourselves that whatever you're facing, God's got it. God's got you. God's got your family. God's got your concerns. Take a few more breaths here as we remember. I love this song that says, but God, right? God steps in. One more breath. Breathe it in. Take it up to your upward facing dog. Lengthen that spine. Bring your chin up. Tuck your toes. Look for your downward facing dog. Push into your left foot. Take your right leg high. Drop it down to the back of your left foot. Then heel, take it high again, warrior one. Take it to your right foot. Rise up strong. Drop it down, we'll move through a little faster this time, same as before, drop it down. Take your left leg. Find that warrior one, arms high. Hands to the mat, right leg back, downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Drop your toes to your right heel. Take it back up, inhale. Exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one, rise up strong. You guys are doing great, drop those arms, interlace your fingers, back bend. Pull those shoulders down. Look up, child. That was good timing. Okay, let's find that warrior one again. Hands to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your flow, take your vinyasa. However you like to take it. Inhaling through every movement. Coming back into your downward facing dog. Walk it out. Push into your left foot. Take your right leg high. Bring your knee and nose round your back with your exhale. Bring it up with your inhale. Warrior two. You know what to do. Rise up strong. Front heel and your back arch are lined up. Look over your front middle fingers and look forward, child. All right, let's find that side angle stretch. Right arm down, left arm high. And then bring that left arm over, a nice long stretch here on the left side of your body. We'll take it up and back, reverse. Our real hands to the mat. Right leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your flow. Take your vinyasa. You can drop your knees if you'd like. Lower the body down. Stretch it up to your cobra or up dog. Tuck your toes. Lift for downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Knee to nose, round your back. Left leg high. Warrior two. You know what to do. Come on up, child. Nice and strong. Warrior two. Check that back arm. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed here. Don't cram them towards your ears. Just let them drop away from the ears. Go to our side angle stretch, left arm down, right arm high. And then bring that top arm over for a nice long stretch down the side of your body. All right, you guys are doing great. Take it up and back, reverse, breathe, sink in, look up. Cartwheel hands to your mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. 
Again, let's find your flow, or maybe you want to stay in your plank and just play with your plank a little bit. Nice and strong. Or maybe you just want to go from plank to up dog. Sometimes I like that too, just making a variation. We'll all come back into our downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal it out. And then come into your child's pose when you're ready. Take a few breaths. And then bring your hands to prayer at the base of your neck. Walk your elbows forward. You'll get a nice stretch into the back of your arms, into those triceps. Great job, you guys. Take three or four more breaths here. Remember something wonderful God has done for you. Really nice. Go ahead and bring those arms forward. Press all the way up. And then come forward for your, I'm sorry, come into your downward facing dog. We're going to go into our pigeon pose. So lift for downward facing dog. Bring your right knee out to the outside of your right hip. Okay, so right knee comes forward to the outside of your right hip. Going into pigeon pose. The top of your left foot is on the ground. Notice where your right foot is. The more you bring it away from your body, the deeper stretch you'll get. Okay, it's a great place for a block. If you want to use your block, it would be under your right hip on this side. I guess some of you guys are super flexible and you don't need a block. I love a block. So then you're gonna come down Get on your mat, and you can stack your hands under your head. Or you can put a cushion, a pillow or something under your head. That works too. We've got time. We're going to spend a little time here. So if you want to grab any props, feel free to do that. There's time. So we get into that position. And then we just really use our breath to settle in. Just to help us to release tension in this pose. A lot of us have really tight hips. And this is a great way to release that tension. You need to let it happen. Try not to fight it. Try to just surrender in your pigeon pose. So use your breath. And just focus on releasing areas, releasing the neck, releasing the shoulders, releasing the head. And that will help you to release those tight muscles around your hip. So continue with your breath. We're gonna stay about 30 more seconds here. Continue to release. And while you're releasing, if you have anything negative going on emotionally, release that as well. It's not just for the body. You can release emotionally here too. Super nice, you guys. Gently press up. 
We'll come out that side and we'll do the other side. So we're gonna come back into our downward facing dog. Bring your left foot, sorry, left knee forward and your left foot. Your left knee's outside of your left hip. Top of your right foot is on the mat. And it's always helpful, and sorry I didn't say this last time, but really like inchworm that right foot back. Okay, you can use your block under that left side. And then just gently folding over. Again, noticing the angle of your left leg. Make sure your head is either on the mat or under on top of your hands. Just make sure it's supported. You don't want it just hanging out, suspended. That's gonna cause stress in your neck. So we find that place, and again, we just release. Release and then release more. Make sure you're using your breath. Release the shoulders, release the neck, release the head. Release any tension in that left side. Nice job, you guys. We're going to stand, spend about 30 more seconds here. You guys are doing great. Just keep with that breath. Continue to focus on releasing. Great job, let's gently come out of it. So take out any props, gently press up, find your way back to your downward facing dog. And then pressing your hips back. And that nice lengthening in the back of your legs, push your hips back, press your heels towards the mat. Let's bring our knees down, come on to your belly. And do some quick spine strengtheners here. So. Arms at your sides, palms up. When you're ready, go ahead and take that body away from the ground. Take those legs up, reach for your heels with your fingertips. Keep breathing, keep reaching. All right, gently release. Bring the body down, side of your face, your head to your mat. Let your arms rest at your sides, relax. Let those heels fall open to the sides. Take three or four breaths here. Let those shoulders relax. Great job, you guys. Let's bring the chin back to the mat. We'll do it one more time when you're ready. Come back into center. Take everything up that you can. Reach for those heels with your fingers. Pull the chest up away from the ground. Bring the gaze up. Keep breathing. Take one more breath in here and lift a little bit more. And release. Lower it down. Other side of your face or head to your mat.
Just let it go here. Two or three more breaths. Bring your chin back to the mat. Gently press up. Find tabletop and then bring your hands a little bit forward and press your hips out in nice big circles. Really big circles. Really slow. Be mindful of your breath. Take one more big circle here. Gently reverse. All the way around, really big. Use that breath. Take one more. Bring it back in the center. Come back all the way to your back. So find your way to your back. Wonderful job, everyone. Left leg out, right knee in. Let's find our twist. So take your right knee over the left side of the body, right arm out, lift your right hand. Left hand on your right leg if you want it. A little deeper twist. We're gonna continue with our breath here in our twist. And then gently unwind. Take your right knee out to the right side for your hip opener. Beautiful job. Keep that left side anchor down. Make sure your shoulders are squared off and your neck is long and you're breathing. Couple more breaths here. Right knee comes in, gently stretch that right leg up to the mat. Bring that left knee in, find your twist. Left knee over the right side, look left. Right hand on that top leg if you want. Feel that lovely twist into your spine. Get a nice stretch into your back. Take a few more little breaths here in the twist. Gently unwind. Bring it all back into center and then let that left knee fall out to the left side, keeping the right side down. Take a few breaths here. Bring your left knee in, bring your right knee in. Draw your knees into your chest. We'll rock a little bit to each side. And then we'll go into our happy baby whenever you're ready. The arches of the feet, drawing the knees down. Gently moving. Gently rocking. Big happy baby smile on your face. God loves you dearly. You are precious to him. He is watching out for you. He is for you. Let's take any variations you want of your happy baby. Take a few more. Over 
bring it back into center. Draw the feet together, butterfly legs. Bring your head up to your feet. Draw the feet into the body. We'll release. Draw the knees into the chest with your exhale. With your inhale, arms come overhead. Strong, stretch back. Point your toes, lengthen your body. Take your hands together in prayer. So press palms together, thumbs crossed. Stretch. Exhale, hands behind your knees, knees to your head, head to your knees. We'll do it one more time. Reach all the way back, big breath, big stretch. Hands together in prayer, cross those thumbs, really press your palms together, point your toes. Stretch that body and your spine. And release. Knees in, hands behind the knees, knees to the head, head to the knees. All right, wonderful job. Release everything out to your mat. Take those legs out. Take your legs wide. Feet flop open out to the sides. Arms out, palms up. Find that sweet spot. Just make those little corrections. We're going into our final pose here, our resting pose, often favorite pose of the day. Let's take one final cleansing breath here, breathing in deeply. Breathing out really big. And then just breathing softly. Continuing with a nice, easy breath. Allowing everything to relax. Allowing the toes and the feet to relax. Letting your heels melt into the ground. Allowing your entire left leg to relax from bottom to top. Feeling the calf muscles relaxing, the quadriceps, the hamstrings. Just let that left leg melt into the ground. Thinking about your right foot, your right toes. And your right heel, just letting them all relax and letting that heel melt into the ground. Thinking about your right leg, relaxing the right leg from the bottom up. And the right calf muscles relax, your quadriceps, your hamstrings. Just let your right leg melt into the ground. Get all the way up to your hips. Notice your hips, your pelvis, and your tailbone, and your glute muscles. Let all of that relax and just let those glute muscles melt into the ground. Follow that up into the body, noticing the belly and the chest, noticing the breath in the belly and the chest. Just allowing the belly and the chest to fully relax. And then allowing the back to also relax. And just allow the back to melt into the ground. And then all the way up, noticing your shoulder blades melting into the ground. Take that up to your shoulders. 
And just release the shoulders, relax the shoulders and just let them melt. And going down your left arm, start at the top. Go down the left arm, allowing it to completely relax and melt into the ground. All the way down to the left wrist, down the left hand to the left fingers. Just let that left hand melt into the ground. And bringing your attention to your right arm, allowing it to relax from top to bottom. Letting that right arm melt into the ground all the way down to your wrist. And allowing that left, that right hand to relax. All the right fingers to relax. Just let that right hand melt into the ground. your attention now to your neck, locate the neck, allowing the neck to completely relax all around the neck, sides, top, bottom, let it all relax, all the way up to your jaw, Allowing the jaw to relax, feeling the muscles around the jaw release. Allowing the mouth to relax, allowing the tongue to release. Get that feeling into your cheeks, up into your forehead, allowing the muscles in the forehead and around the eyes to relax. Just letting all those muscles melt towards the ground. Take that to the top of your head, on the back of your head, the base of your head. Feeling your head sink into the ground, just let it relax. And come back to your breath. An amazing life giving breath. Notice the softness. Notice how your body feels. From head to toe and from toe to head. Take a quick scan. See if there's anywhere else that you need to release. Bringing your eyes to our sweet Heavenly Father. Reading from the Start with Praise book, it says, Was there a time in your life where it looked like chaos was having a party, but God came in and saved the day in a big and miraculous way? Or maybe it wasn't in your own life, but someone else's. Reflect on that. Remembering. And he's more than capable. He's more than willing. He's just waiting for the ultimate perfect timing. I think we've got some good timing right now with everything we're going through. It says, are you struggling? God understands. Tell him your feelings. Ask for his help in transforming you and empowering your heart and your mind to be thankful and unshaken. When fear grips your heart, remember what God has done in the past and thank him. Let his peace wash over you as you begin to stand firm on the path that he has set out for you. Let's take a moment here to remember.
friends, let's gently bring back some movement in your hands, your fingers, your feet, your toes. Maybe turning your head side to side. Reach back with your right arm, roll over to your right side. With your knees bent, stay there for a breath or two and then come on up. All right. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's finish up with our prayer. So sitting nice and tall, we'll bow our heads. Dearest Heavenly Father God, we're so thankful for this time that we can gather, even though it's via technology, we're just grateful to be together and to bring our eyes to you and to remember the amazing things that you've done in the past. And we know that you don't change. We know that that's not going to change. You're going to continue to work in our lives. So we're just thankful as we look forward to see the things that you will do. And Lord, I thank you for my beautiful students. I pray this practice has blessed them internally and externally from top to bottom. And that they are renewed and refreshed because of you. I pray that this has brought them just refreshment and renewal. And Lord, as we just continue to thank you for what you have done, we think about how you died on the cross for us and that you took the punishment of our sins so that we don't need to be fearful. We don't need to be afraid. We just need to keep our eyes fixed on you. We look forward to the wonderful things you're going to do, and we just thank you, God. We thank you again and again and again. In your holy and very precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for all the payments you guys have been sending in for yoga. I appreciate that a ton. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. And again, um, Friday and Monday, take a class online. I love you guys. I will see you live again next week on Wednesday. Have a wonderful trip, Mary Beth. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, thank you.